Hey everybody, my name is Megan. I'm the nurse here at Dr. Seri's practice. The team and Dr. Seri just wanted to make a series of videos to walk through the tummy tuck process and how to care for yourself postoperatively. So the first video today is gonna to be about the abdominal binder and how to properly wear it and different steps along the way. When you wake up and when you leave the office, you will be in a abdominal binder that looks like this and the drain will be coming from the left side. So in terms of how do I know that I'm wearing this tight enough, so the first five days while the drain is in, you actually don't want this to be tight, so that word tight. You kind of just want it as a placeholder. Okay, so this is how you want your binder to look. You want this top arch to be right over the top of the bum, and then everything is wrapped around, and ensuring that the bottom is covering your incision with the drain coming out of the left side here. So your drain will be coming out of your left side, and there will be plenty of slack, I mean, by that I mean room, where the, it comes out of the incision and um, out here. So this clip here allows you to clip this to either the binder or your pants or your underwear, whatever you find more comfortable. And you can also hide it in your sweatpants if they're big enough and baggy enough. I want to show you guys how to apply this yourself so that you're not confused once you go home. So your binder looks like this once it's all spread out. You have this is the back side, and this is the side that will be touching your skin. So blue will be to the skin. So you use this arch as kind of like a guide. So the arch will be going on the top of your buttocks here, and then you just wanna make sure that it's aligned evenly. And then when you're putting this on, you want this bottom wrap to go first. So you wanna ensure that this is covering that bottom of your incision. Make sure it's low enough so your incision is covered with this binder. And then go ahead and place the other Velcro piece right over it. In the beginning stages, right after surgery, you don't want this tight. You want this as a placeholder while that drain is in place, just to ensure that everything is being held together. So after you do the bottom part, you will then move along and do the top part of the garment. Again, you'll just lay it down, not too tight, just a placeholder, and then place this right over. And you're good to go. So for comfort, you can place gauze pads underneath the binder, between the binder and the incision, just to kind of give you comfort. And then you can also do that in the back if you find it to be uncomfortable. Also though, you can wear a cotton t-shirt, kind of like how I'm wearing, and just put the t-shirt on first and then the binder. Some patients find that more comfortable as well. Okay, so once your drain is out, that is when we ask you to wear this binder a little bit more tight to ensure that you no know, fluid collection occurs and it'll also help you with your swelling. I'm going to show you how to do so. So again, ensuring that that arch is at the top of your bum, and then you want to wrap the bottom piece first, covering the incision. You can pull it tighter this time, and then pull that bottom piece over ensuring that that's nice and tight and that you are snug in there. I'm just showing you that you could do this yourself, but it's also easier if you have a caretaker or a companion help you with this. And then again with the top, pull over and then just bring this over more tight. This way I'm nice and compressed and snug in this garment. I feel very comfortable and this will help me with my swelling to ensure that um, no fluid collection occurs and that swelling is manageable. So after that drain comes out at either post-op day five or seven, we of course welcome you to wear this um, binder if you find it comfortable, but you can also look for alternative options that the office can send you resources for that might be more comfortable for you. But you are of course welcome to wear this and we ask you for six weeks that you stay in a compression garment.